It three bullets people with armor. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Um, a 17. Bro, the org is unbelievable. It's, it's a certain two shot at most. Like, the gun will kill in literally two shots from any distance. Can't be. Yeah, I'm one off. Yes. Yes, okay. I'll tell them. Okay, I will tell them. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. All right, guys. I've just been on the phone to someone that's told me, if you like this video right now, you'll get good luck for the rest of 2020. Which is what he said. Do you want to risk it? I wouldn't. Go drop a like on this video. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be on some Black Ops Cold War, of course, using my favorite gun in the game. As you can see, my man Jeffrey is holding the weapon of choice, the Org, the best three-round burst gun in the game. Quite controversial because there is another gun, which is the M16, which is classed as one of the best in the game. But now, both of these guns recently did receive some sort of patch to kind of make them worse it hasn't worked they're still as powerful as ever i do have to admit the orgs two to three round kill range has reduced slightly after this patch but boys it doesn't actually matter that much because the class that's what i'm going to show you in this video you're going to put three rounds into them before they even know that you're there that's how good this gun is so uh i'm going to show you guys an insane nuclear i got with the org and boys just enjoy the gameplay it's so so good it's one of my best cold war gameplays so far stick around to the end of the video if you want to see the class setup for the org it's just dumb let's jump straight into this one and all new. Love me. Bray, he's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. You've just actually saved me. Saved me from getting assassinated for a second time. I would have actually kicked off, you know. Fascinating. Oh, the window, mate. Fuck off, man. He's gonna, he's gonna dick on you. He's just pre -in. My god, dude, that guy in the window, it's still there. On a street. Um, a 17. Bro, the org is unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's a certain two shot at most. Like, the gun will kill in literally two shots from any distance. Right, I'm a 20. Oh, I've never felt like that after I got a kill in my life. I was about to absolutely flip. You know when you get really angry and then like you feel like your stomach go? <laughs> yeah. Mate, I was about to kick off if I died then. Oh my god, yes. I'm me. Yeah, I'm one off. Where are they? They should have Yeah, yeah, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hey, there we go. Let's go, baby! Guns are real, Sam. Hit three bullets, people with armor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! I hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay. Let's jump straight into the org best class setup. So we'll just start with the actual class first before we jump into the attachment. So we start off with the UR 77 shotgun. I love this gun so much. It's a, literally a one shot kill from quite a far range, to be honest, on core. So I would recommend going for this one gold as well if you haven't already, just to get it out of the way in case it does get some sort of nerf. It's really, really good. Okay, so starting with tacticals, we're gonna go with the stun grenade. And I did this just to try and get the challenges done on this gun rather than just having UAVs and counters and jam 
jammers and field mic in the air. I usually go for stun grenades as well, just to add that added little bit of help when doing this challenge. But if you don't want to go for that challenge, I would definitely recommend just sticking a stim shot on. I always run a stim shot, my favorite thing to run. If you're not going for a challenge, you need to put that on. Semtex, I'm a big fan of the Semtex in this game. I love throwing them on objectives through windows and just run them across the map Semtexes and sometimes you get lucky with that kill or just from a mile away onto an objective. They do work out quite well. I usually go with the Semtex. Again, the field mic is something I would stick on just to do that challenge with to the, the stuns and the enemies detected challenge. So I would stick that on and just put it down on an objective or in an area where you know a lot of enemies are going to come from and just try and get kills when they're inside that field, field mic radius and it works really well. If you don't want to do that and you don't really like the field mic, go with the jammer or something like that. It works as good. But the field mic is like a little personal UAV so I always find that's the best thing to have on. In this one we've gone with six perks and there's a reason why. So we've gone with flat jacket and tack mask. Of course the two go-tos to stop you from getting nade spam and to stop you from getting stun and flash spam. Absolute go-tos. Gearhead and scavenger. Scavenger to replenish ammo on the go. And gearhead to give you two field upgrades to go well with your uh, challenges and things like that. Absolute go-to. Gearhead is the one to go for if you're doing that challenge. And then of course the perks. Ghost and cold blooded because if you're using this gun you want to be off the radar. You want to be off the map from sentry guns and choppers and stuff like that. You want to just concentrate on getting those kills and that is what this gun is all about. Okay now we've done the class setup. Let's get into the attachments of this gun. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I run on this gun. So optic wise the mill stop reflex is the best one. There is no micro reflex LED. This is the only decent reflex I feel is on this gun. So I kind of ranked it up and waited to get this one. I think you unlock it at like a level 11 or something like that. It's not a very high level optic to unlock but even if you don't unlock this one to start with then just go with the Cobra red dot. It is a bit more aimed in but it does work as well. The thing is without the red dot on the org it actually comes with its own sight and it's this. It's basically like its own ACOG sight. It's okay. It's not great. It can be a bit of a pain at the start but when I did start using it I ranked it up pretty fast and I didn't really have to use it for that long. If you guys are going for long shots though I would probably recommend going for something like the axle arms three times. Really really good sight and that's what helps me a lot. Going on to the muzzle obviously we're just going for the normal silencer. I haven't unlocked the agency silencer yet so we haven't actually used it or gone with that. So again it doesn't matter. Use the silencer. It keeps you off the radar and it lets you go on those higher streaks with this gun and trust me you will go on the higher streaks with this gun. It's ridiculous. The barrel we're going to go with the 18.2 inch strike team. So this gives you a 19% increase in damage and fire rates. It's just ridiculous. Why does it give you a damage increase? I, I don't know, but it seems to work wonders. The fire rate increase gives you effectively a rapid fire on the weapon and it allows you to shoot so quickly. It's not as ridiculous to a point where it looks like it's an automatic, but it's pretty close and I've absolutely dominated with this gun so many times. It's my favorite attachment to have on the org. So go and try this out and just sort of wait until you rank it up. If you didn't want to and you didn't have that unlocked, the first barrel you can have is a fire rate increase barrel. So it's not as fast, so it only increase it by 13%. Any increase is a good increase, so I would go ahead and put that on. We're going to skip over the body and go straight to the underbarrel where we just use the normal front foregrip. Increases horizontal recoil control by 30%, and you really do notice it. And it's probably my favorite thing to have on. I've had this on since the start, or since I've unlocked it. Just put it on, see how you feel. And then, of course, onto the magazine. So this gun has got pretty good ammo choices, I'm not going to lie. The first one you unlock is a 45-round drum mag. The thing is a monster. I had this on for the entire weapon literally the entire time I've had this on. But then recently I unlocked a 54 round drum mag, which is even better. So I've had that on as well. And it's just insane. It's such a good attachment to have on. Without any magazine attachments, you do have 31 rounds on a mag. So it doesn't really need one that much. But because I like to go on those high streaks and I like to just go in and people spawns, this allows me to do that. And it basically means I don't have to reload anywhere near as often. If you don't have the 54 round drum mag, just go with a 45 round or completely scrap the mag in general and go with a handle preferably the drop shot handle it gives you a bit of flinch resistance and allows you to go prone whilst aiming down sight and to be honest it is really good and i've tried it and it probably works out better than it does with the magazine but for me because i like going on streaks and getting in people's faces in the spawns and things like that i like to use the 54 round drum mag so that is entirely up to you guys what you want to do and that is it guys that is the class setup that i use on the org and the class that you see on screen in this video it's just a crazy class go check it out guys go try it out as well if you haven't already and try and get it gold as soon as possible because it's going to be nerfed a lot soon <laughs> i can just see it's going to get another nerf so before it becomes unusable go and use it the appearance so we're going to be able to just see how much camos and things i've got left so we've done the first one done the second done the third done the fourth done the fifth we're on this science camo now which is kills behind cover i've only got six out of 50 rip 
please help me and then the double kill should come fairly easy but we're not even level 50 yet we're 43 so still got seven levels to go with the gun before we do rank it up i think i'm going to just go for get these ones leave the double kills until a later date and then go for the other attack rifles and then try and get them all gold in one video i think that'd be kind of cool so uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea but uh yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are brand new around here as well that'd be absolutely amazing and guys hope you have enjoyed the video we'll see you in the next one